And hello. <clears throat> yes, what you see in front of you is yet again the ultrasonic cleaner. Um, I want to do an update. I have yet again mixed to a new solution. Uh, this new solution is not as abrasive as the other two. The very first one, which was the vinegar solution, you really have to use the baking soda to neutralize the vinegar in order to stop the tarnishing. Also, that also proved to be a very time consuming process. Then I tried the Micro 90 solution, which was better. Um, it cut down on the time amount that I had to clean with. It's still somewhat abrasive. It's got ammonia in it, and ammonia is not good. Um, honestly, it's not really good for uh, brass. Now, the new solution that I'm going to be making is Lemmy, Sh Lemmy Shine. You get this at Walmart, your dishwashing, deter uh, dishwashing cleaning aisle. Also, the non-sweetened um, lemonade packs that you make the lemonade out of, if you get the non-sweetened kind, it'd work also. The key word is lemon. Lemon is an acid, but it's not really that bad of an acid. Uh, you take it out, you rinse it, you're good to go. So, we're going to revisit this, and I'm going to run through a batch, and I'm going to show you how well it's done. Now, I'm going to use a 223 brass. I'm going to use a few of them. And these are the Remington, and you can see how the primer pockets look. Uh, also, keep in mind that I probably haven't put many rounds through them, but, you know, this is what I've got to work with. I also dissected one. I cut them apart to show you what the insides look like, roughly, for the most part. And then once I get a set cleaned, I'll dissect another one that's been ran through the solution, and we'll show you how that looks. Also, the other thing that I've changed, and I apologize, I cannot remember the member, one of my subscribers, that had told me this, but he had taken the white basket out, and he just uses the uh, stainless tank. So, I tried that method, and it works very, very well. So, I'm going to go out here, and I'm going to get, you know, the hottest water I could stand, and pour in here. Then I'm going to mix some of the solution. Now, you know, a tablespoon will work. I kind of just dump it in and mix it around until I get a feel of it. And um, we'll be right back. Okay, now I've got my hot water in it, and you can probably see the steam coming off of it. I can put my hand in there. Now, when I'm starting the unit from a cold, the first batch I usually run for two cycles, and then each one after that as the water gets hotter, it's only one cycle. So, uh... Let's go ahead. Like I said, I'm just going to shake. And I just lay them down. Three, four, five. And we're going to run it up to the 480 and turn it on. Put the lid on it. Very important to put the lid on it. Okay, so to save some time, I'm gonna go ahead and you know cut the camera off. I'll let it run its cycle, and then we'll be right back to check it. Just a quick view of what's going on inside the tank. Okay, let's go ahead and pull what we got. <clears throat> Okay, so let's compare right quick. This one, see if I zoom, yeah, I'm zoomed out.
as you can see the primer pocket is definitely a lot cleaner so I'm gonna run these into some continuous clean water to rinse them off and it's very important that the water is free flowing and you're not rinsing them off in standing water because you're just keeping it in the solution that you're trying to clean off anyways so the basket that come out I'm going to put them all in it and then I'll go rinse them out and I'll be right back okay now I've got them rinsed off they're all here <clears throat> I want to take my Kawasaki Dremel and the one that we just took out I want to cut one open and show what the inside of it looks like so I'm just going to choose around in here okay set that off to one side you can see the case is still a little wet so I'm just going to use my shirt dry it off like I said the inside of the mouth looks a little pinkish just cut back on the amount of lemmy shine um, I still got swaging on the brain so hopefully this won't take too awfully long to cut through I'm only limited to 15 minutes and I'm sure y'all don't even want 15 minutes of this so See if that's enough to open up. Yes. Okay. Like I said, a little pinkish. But there's the inside of that one. And you can see the primer pocket. The inside of that one. 